Right, so Tory Deputy Party Chairman and National Embarrassment, Lee Anderson, once again entertaining the still not suspended Dan Wooten on the It's Not a News Channel for legal reasons, but we still call ourselves something newsy. GB News Channel has laid into Black Labour MP Dawn Butler for having said in an interview on James O'Brien's Full Disclosure podcast in relation to the Tory party, I think they're kidding themselves and are extremely delusional in thinking that they will be seen differently when push comes to shove. They get promoted because of things that they're saying. So you couldn't really have a white home secretary saying the sort of things that Suella is saying and get away with it, I don't think. Well, Wooden and Anderson, no strangers to attacking migrants themselves, nor is their god-awful channel either, frankly, they were offended. Oh, offended. They were offended. Oh, lefty Labour MP of colour clearly is being racist towards our goddess, our queen of hearts, our darling Leaky Sue. Anderson certainly appeared to think as much. Wooden, with a straight face, doing his best impression of being a serious news person, despite the channel absolutely not being a news channel, you understand, Ofcom rules and all of that. Asked Anderson, a typically baiting question, is Braverman only Home Secretary because of her ethnicity? Bearing in mind, of course, that that was neither what Butler was asked, nor suggested even, Butler was of the opinion, and it was her opinion, that Braverman as a non-white Home Secretary is probably getting away with the things that she says and does because she isn't white, but that she was promoted... She got the job because of the things that she says. Not what wouldn't ask, though, was it? Anderson waded in with both left feet and knuckles resting on the floor as usual, though. That is actually disgusting, he said. This is a Labour Party that will have all women shortlists. They will select and recruit and promote people based on their sex. For Dawn to say that is probably the, since I've been elected, the most awful, disgusting and it's quite racist thing I have ever seen. Oh, Damo, don't hold back. You might be thinking, well... It's a novel tactic to excuse racism on your own team with a copious amount of misogyny over women shortlist, isn't it? Made all the more so when you consider, before standing for the Tories in Ashfield, Anderson was a researcher for the former Labour MP there, Gloria De Piero, who obviously happened to be a woman, though I can't swear to her ever actually being on an all-women shortlist when she was first selected in 2010. The only reason Labour do this is for representation in Parliament. I think other demographics should get similar treatment based on disability, on race, perhaps not as easy to administer that, but representation is important in a democracy. And it's been a struggle for ethnic minorities to get elected. And this is something Tom Butler knows as only the third black woman ever elected to Parliament. Now, I actually did a video on this about four months ago called Suella Braverman, Time to Call Out Racist People of Colour, very much because of the language she uses that 30p Lee doesn't see a problem with, or at least not nearly the problem he has with Dawn Butler as a black woman bringing up the racism of other people of colour. Of course, Butler being Labour is an easy target for him, so how about we bring up a Tory one instead? I'll link to my other video at the end. I'm not going to dwell on and go into the detail of it too much again. It's obviously already there. You can go and watch it yourselves. But one part of it... I do want to draw attention to again here, and that's the fact that Sayyid Varsi, remember her, former chair of the Conservative Party herself, Yorkshire born, of Pakistani descent, she has also called out Suella Bradman's language and rhetoric directly in the past. She has spoken out on the fact that she's become so alarmed by the racist language used by Suella Braverman, to the point she's asked her father to no longer walk back from the mosque that she's arranged to transport for him. And she's told her son if people start shouting and swearing at him to walk away. And she is especially laid into Braverman over her comments that, without caveat, British Pakistani men were mostly responsible for grooming white British girls to be used in child abuse networks. Right after, no, it had to be said, notably, right after a grooming gang of all white members got sent down for over 130 years between them. That's not even a migrant issue. That's British Pakistani men being laid into. Where are the British Pakistani MPs calling her out for that, though? Sajid Javid on her own side, Khalid Mahmood, Naz Shah, Shabana Mahmood, the current Labour Party campaign coordinator. There's some 30 MPs claiming this ancestry in Parliament elected in 2019. They should surely have been demanding Braffman sacking over this. Perhaps some did out of the public eye behind closed doors, but either way, she was secure in place. Braverman is on record as having wanted to x-ray migrant kids to check they were actually children. She has maintained there are safe legal routes for migrants to claim asylum, despite this being a well-known lie now. The deaths of six Afghans in the channel recently proving that when that country 
is supposed to have an asylum route, as promised, at the end of the war there to come here. We've rescued nobody from Afghanistan. Her illegal migration bill is going to be ruled illegal in the Human Rights Court because it violates the Human Rights Act. Rwanda is not a third safe country as it has war on two of its borders in the offing at this point. She lectured a Holocaust survivor on the rights of refugees. It's brass neck, isn't it? She's overseen malnutrition of children and pregnant women in hotels, asylum seekers there, for, for the sake of saving three quid. She's overseen detention centres end up as concentration camps where kids go missing from and don't get found. And that's before we get onto the prison barge, which we're paying a fortune for, that she deliberately wants to overcrowd and was known to have Legionella on board before anyone set foot on it. For sure, Dawn Butler has said the most disgusting thing that Lee Anderthal has ever heard since becoming an MP. Do I agree with Dawn Butler's assertions myself? Partially, partially, I'll say. I do completely agree that a white person would far and away be called out far more quickly for saying the kind of things Braverman has got away with than she, a person of colour, has. And mostly where she has been called out has been via social media and not our Tory-centric mainstream press who, by and large, ignore her. They assuredly wouldn't have ignored it if it came from Labour. Where I disagree slightly is over Braverman being promoted because of what she says. I agree that is partially probably true in that it elevated Braverman's profile, certainly. But Rishi Sunak put her straight back in place after she broke the ministerial code in the dying days of Liz Truss's administration because he needed her faction of the Tory party in place, on board, to shore up his own position. And that is why she got the job again. That is why she remains in place now, in my view. Whilst he moves around somebody far less useful to him, like Grant Chaps, repeatedly, now on his fifth new gig in 12 months. Sadly, as much as social media has and still does call out Braverman, the drivel spouted by Wooten and Anderson encourages the racists in our society who aren't bright enough to think beyond the words dribbling out of the Leanderthal to have even noticed the question Wooten asked wasn't what Butler said. They just want to attack the black woman for once more standing against real racism. Improve your collective IQs. Give that shared second-hand brain cell of yours a challenge and change the damn channel. If you aren't questioning why Suella Brandman can and does get away with what she says and what she does, then you're probably part of the problem, aren't you? What do you reckon? Has Don Butler ham-fisted this, or is she bang on the money? Why do you reckon Braverman is still in her job? The reasons I've opined upon? Or have you got another idea? Is it something else entirely? Let me know in the comments. Join in the conversation on this. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please like, share, and subscribe if you did. More content out daily. Meanwhile, here's that video on the racism of people of colour of Braverman having got away with it for a long while now and why should she just because she's a person of colour too and I'll hopefully see you on the next vid. Cheers folks.